Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Monkey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today the video is going to be about um, a get to know you kind of video and I have some questions that um, I've been previously asked and kind of just asked over time that I never really thought to answer. But they're like really good questions. So I figured I'd just, you know, put it in one of my videos so that any and everybody could probably figure out a piece of me that they didn't already know. Um, so one of the questions is, what is your favorite word? So my favorite word I would have to say is probably yes. And it's only yes because in some situations, saying yes may be easier than saying no. Um, it says, what is your first job? My first job was Giant food store. I was a cashier making a minimum of $9 an hour, working 40 hours a week, and being a freshman in college. It says, what was the worst job you ever had? Um, I think probably the worst job I ever had was working with Sam's Club as a cake decorator. And not because I was doing the work of a cake de decorator, but because I was dealing with the people around me that just made the work environment so much more harder than what it really was um it says what is your most used or most used recent emoji um let's see um my most used recent emoji is the laughing crying face um i think because my personality personality just causes me to be such a joyful funny person that I use that emoji obsessively um, another question is if you could change your name what would it be I think if I could change my name my name would probably be Aubrey I don't know I just feel like Aubrey is a common name but a beautiful name it, it, it just it stands out so much that it allows people to realize you without actually realizing you. Um, it says, what movie or TV show title best describes your week? So, most recent favorite TV show that I've been watching lately that also describes my week is Timeless. If you guys haven't seen it, it's about um, a group of people, probably about three or four people, that travel, you know, um, back in time to fix major current events that this company called White House, no, I'm sorry, not White House, Written House is trying to destroy and change those events that way in the future, it'll affect them in a better way than what it has already. Um, what was your favorite subject in school? When every different, or well, different, sorry. Every period of school, meaning elementary, middle school, high school, college, my, my favorite subjects have changed. So elementary, um, my favorite subject was arts and crafts or music, something that dealt with um, allowing your body to do different things than your mind was doing. Um, in middle school, my favorite subject, I would have to say, was math. Um, only because it was something new that I could catch on to. Like, it was something that I was confident in. Um, high school, my favorite subject was history and it was only because I had this black history teacher okay you don't get a few of them I mean you don't get many of them when you know young African American but I had one teacher that I had stuck with majority of the time that just had so much passion for history and that it just made me you know 
want to potentially be a teacher and then college my favorite subject was my major which was graphic design i loved being able to put some of what was in here out you know into the digital world and not only the digital world but uh the graphic world and um the arts world because i'm also a minor in fine arts so it says what is your hidden talent i don't believe i actually have a hidden talent a talent that i can pinpoint myself but from other people that i've met in my life they would say that um I'm a very open army person. I'm a very straightforward person that comforts everybody that comes my way as far as like loving and um, you know, just being me. But I don't think that's a hidden talent though. I just think that that's just me. Anyways, um, it says, if you could spend a day in someone else's shoes, whose would they be and why? If I could spend, if I had to spend one day in someone else's shoes, who would it be and why? I would probably say my mother. And it's only because there's certain things that our parents have to go through or my parents have to go through that I don't fully understand all the time. And I feel like when I ask my mother, she doesn't always tell me because, like a mother, she's protecting me. Um, so, I wish I could be in her shoes just to see her point of view and how she's feeling and what she's thinking. And I feel like if that was possible, it would allow me to connect with her even more than what I already am connected with her with. Um, it says, what's been on your mind lately? So, um, currently what's been on my mind is my wedding planning because recently after I graduated college, um, I got engaged to by my former boyfriend of years. Um, another thing that's been on my mind is my future as far as continuing school and um, going towards my master's and also um, just you know, looking for housing where they were going to be here in Pennsylvania or possibly moving somewhere back down south. So what is one of your favorite memories? One of my favorite memories that I have is living with my grandparents. My grandparents, um, my grandfather recently passed away this year. Uh, my grandmother passed away about two years ago or a year and a half ago. And I actually spent every summer with them. And one summer where I thought I was just spending a summer with them, my mom actually stayed with them longer and eventually ended up staying there for about two and a half, three years. Attended school, um, you know, just got a whole different life experience. And I feel like if my mother never did that, that like, I would always have a genuine love with them but I just don't feel like it would have been as strong as what it is now. Be as though that I did live with them as long as I did. So I thank my mother for that very much. Um, it says, what's one thing about you that surprises people? A lot of people don't know that I'm white. Like they don't know that my mother is, um, native Hawaiian and when I say oh well I'm mixed with Hawaiian and they're like I knew you were mixed with something you just don't look you know black but you don't look Dominican but you don't look this or you don't look that and I'm just like uh I didn't know people look like their certain thing but whatever um it says who or what was your biggest teacher um, my mom has always been my biggest teacher, but as far as like outside of family members and my mom and everything like that, my biggest teacher I would have to say was my volleyball coach that I spent years with. Um, she was my first coach outside of school and my last coach 
outside of school and I had spent years with her and we built together and I just I miss her like she taught me a lot she didn't always have the nicest way of saying things but it just helped me build my character and I really love her for that and some of you may know that um, if you're from Nashville her name is Coach Mora and she's I still have love for her and I just sometimes I can still just pick up the phone and I can just call her and just chit chat whatever with her and when I go home I always try to see her but yeah, she's still always busy because she's still coaching and stuff like that. Um, it says, what is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? I think the best piece of advice that I've ever been given was um, never give up. I know like that's really corny, but a lot of people when I was in college and I got pregnant, they had so much doubt for me. They had so much, I don't know, I guess jealousy or hate towards me or they just genuinely didn't want to see me succeed. But when I would ask certain people that didn't like me, why they didn't like me, they didn't have a logical reason. So when I see a lot of people and I see a lot of young females in particular come into college and think they can't do it and they, they fall into the arms of a guy and feel like they have to be dependable on a man. You don't need a man. A man is an accessory to you. He's tending to your needs as well as you tending to his. It's a hundred hundred thing. You don't need a man to ever feel like you need to do something. And that's just coming from me. And that's my point of view as guys like my um, fiance he is there for me but I don't need him I want him it's a difference um where's your happy place my happy place is the shower I have a really bad like urge if I feel like I stink if I feel dirty like some people go to sleep at night and don't shower. And it really bothers me because I'm like, as soon as I get home, as soon as I get done doing whatever I'm doing for the day, if I haven't left the house, I don't honestly shower because I feel like, you know, I never really did anything unless I'm like moving around, cleaning up, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, then I shower. If I step any foot out that house, nine times out of 10, when I come back, I shower um so that's just my happy place because I feel like that's where I'm getting a rain of like relaxation and I'm getting a rain of um, mental you know calm whatever you want to call it okay that's that's my safe haven when people come into the bathroom while I'm showering and people are doing this and people are doing that while I'm showering it really bothers me and then I have to stay in the room because I'm like you just ruined that me time hello <laughs> um, if you could invite this is a really weird question because I'm sitting here reading this and it kind of just <laughs> anyways if you could invite three people dead or alive to a dinner party who would they be and why my first person to a dinner party would be my grandmother. Second person would probably be my father. My third person would be my mother. I chose my grandmother because she had a very big impact in my life. Um, growing up success, like she really, a lot of the things that I seen her doing when I was growing up, I never realized that I have the same tendencies and um, I do the same things that she does. Um, I would say my father for the second person because he passed away when I was younger. Um, this year actually makes his 10 years anniversary of being passed away. He was in the military and I just wanted, I wanted to be able to 
we can do everything with him because my mom said when I was growing up that she would have to force me to go with him you know because I would just I would cry and I would scream and like it hurts me if I start feeling because I'm like why would I ever do that like like that's my dad you know what I mean that my third person of course is my mom because she just she just makes things better for me she just she doesn't tell me I need to do things. She suggests things as a guidance and I solely make the decision. And I feel like without her guidance in certain things, it just, I'd probably be a 10 times worse person than what I am. Cause I do have a temper sometimes. Um, so what qualities do you value and the people with whom you spend time with. A lot of the qualities, this is with any any person that I hang out with. One of the qualities that I really love and suggest that people do is being stressful and letting things go. A lot of people when they are in life, they let the smallest things stress them out. And unfortunately, some people don't know how to be stress-free. I am currently learning how to let certain things go. Like one of my biggest stressful things that I do is worry about money. And my boyfriend over the past year has told me, money comes and money goes. You got to let it go because if you don't, it'll never come back to you. And that, I mean, the way that he said it, it made me feel like that goes as far as anything. So one thing that I want a lot of people to have to be able to enjoy life more is just letting things go and being stress-free. Um, another good quality that I feel like a lot of people should have is um, just being themselves. Because I feel like a lot of people now in the society and the world and whatever they're trying to be something that they're not you can't forcefully make yourself be somebody you're not like regardless of all the botox and all the money and the facelifts and whatever underneath all that you're still going to be the same person you're still going to feel the same way you're going to know what you look like inside and out so i just feel like people should just Love themselves and enjoy themselves and don't let society get to them. It says if you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with all the extra time? So, if people, <laughs> for those who don't know me, I don't really sleep. And I know that's terrible because I have my days where I take time off to sleep. And the other days, I'm so busy doing everything else that I don't get to sleep. But if I had the extra time and I could do anything I wanted to do, I'd probably just spend it more with family. Um, family is just, is just important in my culture and it just, seeing a lot of things in the past several years and getting older, seeing people leave the earth that you grew up with and it's hard so spending time with people is a big factor um um it says what is a dream you have that you have yet to achieve so one of the dreams that I've had for the longest time that I've yet to achieve is skydiving. I don't know why I want to do skydiving so bad, but I want to do skydiving. <laughs> um, it says, what am I most afraid of? One of the most things that I'm afraid of, it's um, three things that I'm the most afraid of. The number, 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 number one thing is being raped. 
a lot of people can't control what happens to you. But I feel like in some ways you can. And I feel like up until this point I have done me personally not saying that any of the other victims that it has happened to couldn't control I mean could control what happened but I'm saying that I stay out of the way of anything that I feel like may possibly keep me ready. Hard. It's really hard for me to say that a lot of people don't know that like that is one of my biggest fears. Like, a lot of people don't know that you can potentially get raped from your significant other to become more forceful. So I constantly know my let my fiance know that that is one of my biggest fears. Like I just I don't ever want to experience that. I'm, terrified of it. I can't watch it on TV shows. I can't watch it in movies. I can't even hear it. Like it it literally scares me to death. Um the second thing is a car accident. Um, um and my third thing that I'm really 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 really, really, really afraid of are spiders. It could be the smallest spider. I will scream my head off. I will find any and everything near me to kill it and <laughs> yeah like I just oh this like spider is so much um so those are several questions that I answered um that some people have asked me that um some questions that I made up in case you know somebody wanted to get to know me a little bit better um here's a small summary of me Aside from the questions, um, um, I currently graduated from Trinity University in um, of Pennsylvania uh, with a degree in graphic design and minor in fine arts. I am the youngest of three. Um, I am the youngest of three, and I am a mother of one. Um, my favorite sport is volleyball. I've played for about nine years. Um, my dream car is a Range Rover. My favorite color is purple. Um, I also wanted to be growing up um, a teacher and an interior designer. Um, I'm still trying to work towards an interior designer, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But hey. Um, another thing for you guys to know is that I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. That's the other chapter. Spring 17, number 19. Um, and then the last thing that I want you guys to know is that every day is a beautiful day no matter what it looks like outside. So always make it your best and keep moving forward. Thanks.